We're in one of the very nice examining rooms of Dr. Jahangir Mahmoodi's office in South Yuba City on Lincoln Road. Dr. Mahmoodi, thank you for letting us intrude on your office today. You're welcome here, sir. I'm very interested in seeing some of the very impressive diagnostic equipment. A lot of it uses electrical energy and things like that to, right. to diagnose diseases in the nerves and muscles and brain. Before we do that, let's just have you refresh our viewers' memories about what is meant by the specialty of neurology. The uh, specialty of neurology is uh, basically dealing with diseases of the nervous system, which uh, consists of brain, brain stem, a spinal cord, and the peripheral nerves. What's the difference between a neurologist and a neurosurgeon? Neurosurgeons, they deal primarily with a surgical lesion, the surgical aspects of the nervous system disease like removing a brain tumor or evacuating a blood clot inside the skull. Hematomas and things hematomas, like that. Right. Or after accidents, things like that's that. That's correct, right. Or spinal cord injuries, again, removing a disc or a, a fractured bones in the spine. So what you're an expert at as a neurologist is the diagnosis to first discover what's going on, is that correct? In the nerve problems or muscle problems? That's right. And then after that to begin some type of treatment. That's right. Now if, if treatment of a surgical nature, like a brain tumor, would be necessary, you might refer a patient to a neurosurgeon. That, that's correct. So you probably work together with that's a correct. neurosurgeon. Right. What are the main diseases that you see in your office, uh, neurosurgical problems, and uh, not neurosurgical, neurological problems that you see? The most common problems uh, uh, seen in a medical neurology office are patients with headaches and dizziness, or vertigo, uh, then epilepsy or seizure Seizures, disorder, right. very common, and uh, then um, goes to uh, 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 patients who have uh, various problems with their uh, numbness and tingling sensation in different parts of the body. The people that may have shooting pains That's down right. to their legs. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, neuralgia yeah. and neuritis and neuropathy, these are all you know, different you know, problems with the nerves. So these yeah. are things that you're dealing with every day? In every day. These are the kind of patients that come to neurologists. Now, in a previous program, we also discussed the fact that you do internal medicine and endocrinology, which right. is disease of the glands of the body. Right. But let's stick today with the neurology. Okay. Now, it's very interesting that uh, I love seeing all of these electrical gadget machines, and in dermatology, we don't use too many of these yes. nice machines. Yes. Uh, the first machine I'd like to look at is what I've heard called the electromyograph. What does that mean, electromyograph? Okay, electromyograph means simply a study of the electrical activity of the muscle and nerve. So what are some problems that patients might feel? I don't mean exact diseases, but what might patients feel wrong that might make you want to do this test? Okay, if somebody who comes uh, complaining of tingling sensations or numbness of their fingers and uh, or uh, weakness of muscles of the arms or legs uh, so the electromyographic or nerve conduction studies might help us to find out what is the cause of the that numbness and tingling of the hands uh, okay, so we'll look at some of the different changes you can see, but right. some diseases, I suppose, are things that people know about, like muscular dystrophy with right. Jerry Lewis and his telethon each year. He right. talks right. about muscular dystrophy where the right. muscles deteriorate for right. unknown, usually hereditary right. reasons. Right. Or there's Lou Gehrig's disease, right. which people have seen movies about, which That's is right. called amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, That's right. where the nerves do not transmit well to the muscles and the muscles deteriorate and That's that sort right. of thing. Right. So these are all things you can help diagnose Diagnosis. with this. That's sure. right. Plus myopathies, there is... What is a myopathy? It means diseases of the muscle. Of the muscle itself. Of the muscle itself, right. It could be virus, I mean, inflammatory in origin. It could be allergic. It could be drug-related. So besides uh, just systemic. weakness, people might have pain in their muscles That's too. That's right. That's right. Like collagen vascular disease. Oh, dermatomyositis, lupus, lupus that with, comes with a muscle myopathy, can be diagnosed by the EMG.
EMG meaning electromyographic. Electromyographic studies. Well, I'm getting very anxious to see it. Can you demonstrate it on me? Yes, sir. We're going to do first, uh, uh, I can demonstrate to you first the EMG or electromyographic studies. We have here uh, the a ground electrode that uh, uh, I can use it in this hand. We use a, a gel, let's say, to help good attachment. So the contact. electricity actually yeah. transmits through that jelly material. That's right. But this this is a ground electrode. Okay. The one with the uh, maybe in position here, right? And uh, this position, right? And of course, well, I'm not going to get any electricity shooting mm -hmm. through me. Not with the EMG. In okay. fact, I'm using a flat disc uh, instead of using a needle. Oh, good. because the electromyography usually uh, is by a needle. Especially oh, you actually get into the muscle. That that's way. right. It has to go into the muscle. So I'm not going to uh, use a needle. Well, I'm going to thank you for not sticking needles in me today. But we can see right here. The little needle that's it's sort of in this cotton gauze that would actually go into the patient's skin. Mm, that's right. So that's a pretty fine needle. It must not hurt very much. No, it's very fine, is right. It's a fine 37 millimeter in length and it's fine needle. It right. almost looks like an acupuncture needle, but that's not what we're doing here. <laughs> right, it's not. And yeah. often patients, they think that this is an acupuncture. <laughs> it's, it's similar, but it's not, not the same, right. So I will not use the needle. Oh, I thank you again. I use, this is good for demonstration. Okay. And again, we use these, uh, the electrode uh, gel to help better conduction and contact. And uh, again, you can put it in here. It, uh, right. So you can mm -hmm. now you see that that's way right in here. Exactly. Now, usually, if you want to see it very nice on the screen, we turn the neon light off, the main light, and we use the stand uh, light. Can we turn the light off? And then here, the Electrical activity of your muscle goes to the pre-amplifier here. From the pre-amplifier goes to amplifier. And we have an oscilloscope here, a screen that we can see the electrical activity of your muscle. Now, I've heard of some of these machines, you can actually listen to that activity. Do you have that That's ability? Right. It does have a speaker. Can you do that right course? now? We're going to. Great. Let's okay. see. I want to really hear that. The screw is now here on the, on this hand. And okay. Uh, right. Now, you see, as you squeeze the muscle, the small muscle of the tenor eminence, you see those, each one of those are called motor, motor unit potential. And as so every you, time I squeeze, you squeeze him, keep him hard, okay, as it is. And we call that interference pattern when you uh, have a full contraction. So there's electricity going through my nerves into the muscles. To the muscles, we enter the preamplifier, and amplifier which magnifies those this electrons. This is my nervous system's electricity that you're seeing on the screen. That's right, yes sir. And then as you relax your muscle, we see a straight line. Now what and normally, normally, at rest, a muscle should be silent and shows an a straight isoelectric line. And if there are any problem with the muscle, then we can see here abnormal findings such as fibrillation, fasciculation, positive shock waves, those are abnormal. You see different type of uh, lines there. Activity. What do you see in someone that might have uh, diseased muscle, like a muscular dystrophy, if right. they would do this contraction? What right. would you see differently? In a muscular dystrophy, there is a myotonic discharges what happens is, as soon as you contract the muscles, there would be a rapid uh, um, motor unit discharges that appears after each other. And that's because they're like myotonic discharges. It's completely different than the normal uh, muscle so discharge. So instead of seeing the, the waves that's why you see, they, they are, are totally they different. Are, yeah, they are close together and uh, continuous 
one after each other, and, uh, and it just continues to go, and it's called bizarre high-frequency potentials what and about, diatonic discharges. What about a disease like uh, Lou Gehrig's disease, where the not enough impulse is getting through? In those, uh, you, there, is a, there would be a difference in the size of each of those motor unit potentials. In Gary Lou disease, specifically, one of these motor unit potentials are tall and wider. Mm. And that's, and there are, of course, fibrillation potentials, fasciculations, especially. Fasciculation is a very characteristic of the Gary Lou disease. So Lou they have disease. Disease. Can, uh, can you show us on a different muscle? Can we do this, or is this a demonstration? We, uh, well, it's difficult to do the other muscles because uh, unless you have to, you uh, could, uh, contract this the, uh, the disc. So let's put it on, uh, uh, we can, so maybe we can put it on a forearm muscle here. And maybe I can, maybe. If we should, let's see. Right. Uh, can we have the light off? Okay. So you can right. see again, as I, as I pull you against Right. That's your flexor, flexor muscle group of the forearm as you contract it. That's right. It's nice to see I have all this electrical power inside my body. <laughs> and, and then relaxing. Relaxing. And when you relax, as you see, there is a straight line and is electrical silence. And that's a normal muscle. Mm -hmm. If the muscle is damaged, then you will have uh, irri the muscles is irritated, and there are abnormal uh, findings on the electro on the uh, uh, oscilloscope.